Hello, it's Emma Mills here and welcome to episode 101 of My TV. And as it is episode 101, I thought, why don't we do our own My TV version of what I would throw into the 101 business box. You know, I like a prop, I've got a pink box. So number one on the list would be time vampires. Um, I actually first came across that word when I joined the Entrepreneur Circle and Nigel always speaks about time vampires and they are people or things in your life that drain your time and a lot of the time they won't even know they're doing it, they'll be the kind of person that just rings you out of the blue to say have you got a minute and then an hour later you don't get off the phone, you know exactly who those people are. They're the people who maybe just turn up at the office and expect to get some of your time. They are the people who email you and expect a response five minutes later. I, the more and more I've been doing my TV, I've been growing my PA, I've been, I guess every week thinking and thinking and look, thinking about productivity, looking into it, looking for new ways to become more productive, um, to actually enjoy my business, have the time I need to do the, the good stuff, have my own time in my own life. So the more I've done that, the more I've realised, and you can spot those people a mile off, that actually just take your time without any prior thought to whether it's a good use of your time, their time, I guess they think it's a good use of their time. But um, number one, this is my representation of time vampires. I hope Joe's not watching this, but I'm going to put this into the box as a time vampire. So my tip for you today is at all costs, when people claw your time, whether it's calls, meetings, face-to-face, -face, Skype, um, emails, emails are the absolute worst for it, instant messaging, I mean Facebook, I mean flipping heck, anybody can get a hold of you in any way, shape or form now. So whether it's like somebody's going to send you a Facebook message, like you can literally have communications coming out of your ears, but those people that are the time vampires, just, you know, respond when you can, book, book a lot of time in to speak to them, or if they are persistent pests do the right thing and protect your own time. So my number one today would be time vampires. It's not all business, so my number two actually are just something that I absolutely cannot stand and it's taken all of my time to actually even hold this. It's polystyrene, another prop. Whoever invented this, God only knows, it has to be a more, a less kind of product that actually gets, that goes right through you. So polystyrene for me was number two that I had to put on here because the sound of it is so that's going straight in there we'll just go over that one quickly um number three is actually do you know what i've never really got when people just start a business and they are all of a sudden the ceo or founder or like the the vice president when they've just started it you know they're president of a business and they've just started that i mean this is probably you might be watching this and thinking you know what difference does it make i've just never got quite got that like I struggle to call myself an entrepreneur. Like I, I'm just like a business owner. I'm just getting on, doing it. Want to grow my business. Want to grow something where my team love to work, where we support our customers really, really well, and we create something that leaves a mark and a legacy. But people get so tied up in some of these job descriptions. One of the things I would put into um, my 101 box is those that give themselves crazy grandiose titles and actually they are on their own or the business has just started or there is literally just them in the business. So I do call Ralph the CEO of my PA and I was gonna put him in the box, but on second thoughts, he is actually under the desk napping. And number four is one of my biggest pet hates. When I hear, and I do spend a lot of time in entrepreneurial groups, and whether it's face-to-face uh, -face or online in Facebook groups, when I hear and see that other entrepreneurs, small business owners, negging out on other small business owners, whether it's the way they're delivering something or um, maybe not getting back to people on time or whatever it might be, as I often think, gosh, not one, not one single person of us has got it sorted out, has got it, you know, nailed with their business. Very few and far between, and it's a really difficult thing to run a business. It is. It's completely the. If you've seen the, um, maybe we'll insert it as like a little image. There's like, um, a, like an Instagram image where it's kind of a bit of like a roller coaster. And one day you're thinking, oh, God, I'm going bankrupt. Next day it's like this is amazing. I've just got a new inquiry. Then it's like, why did I even start this? It's like this is the best thing ever, and that is what entrepreneurship is like. And I think would be a much easier place if business owners were much easier on each other and supportive and actually kind of I'm pretty sure that those things that get talked about most business owners committed those 
mistakes or issues or whatever they might be. And I just think when I kind of hear it, I don't like it. So my business card representation is of small business owners negging out on each other. Those would be the things, the four things that go in my Pretty Pink 101 box. Um, and please do tell me what you thought, what you agreed with and what you didn't. And actually what would go in yours. So email me back, post in the comments what would go in your 101 box. But I do hope the point on the time vampires specifically helps you to identify them, be aware of it and stop it happening and claim your time back where you can. So I hope that's to get your, I hope that gets your head out of the dirt and into the clouds. And I will see you next week for episode 102. See you then. Bye bye.